Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today we will see a one more concept in set theory that is set operations. So in our previous session we have seen a different types of notations as well as a types of sets. So now uh, without late we will start the session set operations. First let me list out the different operations that can be performed on set and we will see one by one. So the first operation, all of you know about these set operations, hope everyone has studied in your uh, schooling, right? So which is a union operation, union, intersection, disjoint, this joint set, difference, complement, difference and complement. So these are all the different operations we can perform on set. So union, intersection, disjoint, difference and the complement. So now we will see one by one. So coming to the definition of a set, a set is a comma separated elements enclosed in a curly braces. So we can call them as a elements or objects sometimes. Okay. So one thing is the unique element should be considered. There is no duplications. Now coming to the union, what is that union means? It means combination of both the sets. Okay, so this union operation will be performed between two different sets so that it will combine all the elements of both the sets. So, combines both the sets or both the set elements under single set single set so let us take an example let us take a set a is equal to okay so let us take uh, 1 2 3 4 and set b can be defined as 4 5 6, 7 and usually this union operation is represented with u, the symbol u, okay. So A union B forms a single set by combining the elements of both the sets. So now the U union B becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, again we are having 4, so we need not mention 4 once again, 5, 6, and 7. So this is the union of two sets A and B. So it combines all the elements of both the sets. And the second operation intersection. So intersection is usually denoted as an N. Okay, N. So it gives common elements, common elements in both the sets so this you this intersection operation will be also be uh, applied between two different sets so we will get the common elements in both the sets so let us take an example the same example which we have taken above so a is equal to some 1 2 3 and 4 and set b is equal to some 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now the A intersection B will be the common elements of both the sets. So 1 is common? No. 2 only in only set A. 3 is also not common. 4? Yes. 4 is a common element because the element 4 is available in set A as well as set B. So 4. What about 5? No. 6? No. 7? No. So A intersection B is only 4 
because the element 4 is available in both A and B. Okay, the available in both A and B. Now, <coughs> this is an intersection. And the next one, next operation is a disjoint set. Disjoint set. So when we will be calling a set as a disjoint set. So this is also applied between two different sets and we can say that both the sets are disjoint. Okay. So when it means if, if there are no common elements There are no common elements in both sets. In both the sets, then we call them as disjoint sets. Disjoint sets. For example, A and B are two sets. Are two sets. Then a intersection B is null set. So we know we have seen what is a null set in our previous session. Null set means the, the set without any element. So it can be represented as either uh, empty braces or or phi. So the intersection between two sets is empty or a null set. Then we can say those two sets are a disjoint sets. So example, you can see the unique elements. A is having a unique elements like uh, 1, 2, 3 and also B is having the elements 4, 5, 6. Now you can see A intersection B. Intersection means a common elements. So there are no common elements here. So 1, 2, 3 are only in A, 4, 5, 6 are only in B. So there is no common elements. So D, in such case, we can call A and B as a disjoint set. Okay, now the next operation is a difference. Difference operation. What is a difference operation? So, difference is usually represented as minus. Minus. Okay, so if A and B are two sets, if A and B are two sets, then A minus B will be having all the elements is equal to all the elements of A but not in B all the elements of A but not in B. So, B minus A, here in this case we have to remember A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So, in our previous uh, operations, either intersection or uh, uh, union, so A union B is equal to B union A. So, we will get the same answer. Similarly, A intersection B and B intersection A will also be giving the same answer. Right? But here it is different. All the A minus B means all the elements of A but not in B. And B minus A means all the elements of B but not in A. So for example, let us take it to sets A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and B is equal to 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now you can see A minus B that means from the A we have to minus all the elements of B. So in the elements, in a, a, the elements of B, 4 is having an A. So except for all the elements of A becomes the A minus B. So you can see all the elements of A, 1, 2, 3 but not in B. So 1, 2, 3 are not in B. But we should not consider 4 here because 4 is already available in B. 
So a minus b will be this one. Similarly, b minus a. What is the b minus a? All the elements of b. So we need to take 4, 5, 6, 7. So but not in a. So 4 is already in a. So we should not consider 4. Right? So 5, 6 and 7. So this is the difference. This is the difference. Okay. Hope you understood this one. Similarly, there is a one more operation called complement. Complement. So usually it is represented as bar. Okay. So we need to give the horizontal line above the set variable. So what is this complement? So here there will be a universal set. Okay. We need to consider the universal set. So the complement is equal to universal set minus set whatever the set we are taking that should be uh, differentiated with the universal set so universal set minus set for example let us take, let, let me give you an example so for example if a is uh, let us take the universal set universal set as uh, like uh, x x is alphabet x is alphabet so obviously what will be getting a is equal to a b c d and so on z so this is a universal set okay so let us consider it as a u universal set now a set a is a e i o u vowels all the vowels okay a is all the vowels now the complement of a a bar complement of a is equal to universal set minus a which becomes some uh, b c d f g h j and so on okay other than vowels so this is nothing but set of so you can write in uh, set builder form x x is a consonant so we we have studied about this consonants and vowels if any alphabet is not a vowel automatically it will be a consonant right so a is vowels and we are finding out the complement of that particular a that means opposite of vowels is nothing but a consonant so that is universal set minus that particular set will give the complement okay so hope you understood and see all these are different operations yes we have seen so intersection union uh, disjoint sets next uh, complement as well as a difference and there is a one more uh, operation which is available that is a symmetric difference we'll see that symmetric difference and we'll stop simple that's also very simple operation symmetric difference similar to our difference operation similar to our difference operation so it takes all the elements of both the sets other than common elements other than common elements so if, if you consider two sets a and b so a and b are two sets and symmetric difference of a and b becomes all the elements of a and b but we have to eliminate all the common elements 
common elements other than the common elements see let us take example so a is equal to 1 2 3 4 and some b is equal to 3 4 5 6 for example now a minus b means what we have to do so we have to consider all the elements of a but not in b and b minus a means we have to consider all the elements of b but not in a and now a symmetric difference b symmetric difference b is equal to we need to consider all the elements of both a and b other than the common elements what are the common elements here 3 and 4 are the common elements we should not consider those elements we have to consider all the remaining elements 1 2 5 6 so this will be the symmetric difference of the both the sets right so other than the common elements we have to consider the elements so simply we can say a union b minus a intersection b a union b minus a intersection b so that is also a symmetric difference right so hope you understood these are all the different set operations operation that can be performed on sets right so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any difficulty regarding any kind of operation uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much